what name? <laughs> you could at least hit the right note. Oh, I know. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What's going on? The Yank Eye and the Brit Eye. We are here. <coughs> we are live. <sighs> Do you want to make a bit more noise over there? Oh my there? god, it's friggin' Our disgusting. Our listeners can't quite hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Jerry Lee! Jerry Lee Willis has just come in the chat room. And uh, Tammy Master is here. Brenda, the blender, is here too. And Carol from the Mo Harvey Beach Band is here. Uh, and Benny Pitzinger. Where the bloody hell's Benny? Benny What's boy. He in here earlier? What's going on there, laddie? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Anything else that you would like to declare over I don't know. I've got more friggin' issues. My God. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. So anyways, howdy. What's up? Howdy. Somebody... Hey, you have a sound. You have a howdy sound effect. There's Tammy, by the way. Yeah, I saw her. I know. I do have that. Good to see you, girl. I don't know where I am, but time I time you it. got your backside back in here, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the one. Okay. Boy, she's got a mouth on her. Right? That's old mini Pearl about. <laughs> Hello, Tammy. What's up? Anything good? New? Exciting? Somebody, talk to us. Yes, anything exciting. Tell us something exciting. Jerry, tell us something exciting. Jerry said, "Hi, Brenda, Brenda, Brenda." I don't know where he got that from. Can you can you imagine where Not he got that from? Not a friggin' clue. I just think yeah. he's. I almost think he's making things up again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello, Holy. folks. This is Benny Pitsinger, and well, good for yeah, you, hello, Benny. <laughs> Glad he knows his name. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Brenda, 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 Brenda. Oh, bloody hell. Look who's in here now. What we got over here then? Anne-Marie. <whistles> Whit, woo. Holy prickly. Belly flopping the pool, she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much how you land in here. That'll leave a big red mark like a big pancake. <laughs> I did a belly flop in the pool when I was a little girl. I thought I could I thought I could dive in the pool, but you, I obviously the, couldn't. Did you empty <laughs> the pool out? <laughs> We don't talk about that. <laughs> okay, I won't. I'm um, sorry. Anne Marie says she's popping in for a bit while she's cooking dinner. Well, what are you cooking for us all, Anne Marie? Seeing as you're cooking, we will join you, won't we, husband? Uh, sure. Say Not yes. a problem. What was that song you played last week of Anne Marie's? And it was completely different to what she normally sings. I don't know, but there's so many of them. Jeez, just pick one. Hmm. I don't know. You want me to play? I got one right here. It's already lined up. Shall we? We shall. I'm going to say Rollins Sr. It's Friday night. You're listening to the Yankee and the Brit. She can sing along with herself while she's cooking din din. Anne-Marie Paserno and Closer.
again Sharing joy, sorrows, hopes will always be friends Something special between us Chick on my radio. Who is that girl? Hey, baby. <laughs> uh uh. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back after these brief words from our sponsors. Okay, that'd be me. What's up, wife? Hey, up. How you doing? Oh, happy as a puppy with two pitters, then. Awesome. I'm just trying to figure out why nothing's working. I can't search anything anywhere. Look at this. I go over here, this brand new one, Catherine, and it won't even show up. What is it? B. Bronsted? B R O N S T E D C. It doesn't even show up. Well, I'm looking right here, and where I wrote it down, of course. Well, I did am. you write it down right? There you question <laughs> me. Bronsted. K A T H R I N E. K A T H E R I N E. I know how to spell uh, it. See, you put E R. You put K- Catherine. It's Catherine. Yeah, but not on this email. It says K A T H R I N E. Well, then why? Ugh, that's bullshit. You don't spell English, her own damn it's name. It's not an English name, though. See, is it, it doesn't even bring up her last name. How's she spelling it? K A T H R. K A T H R I N E. Well, there it is. Fancy that. What a stupid way to spell your name. She's not... To, she's not... Go change your name, <laughs> spell it properly, or get out of here. Who are these people? Who do they think they are? Anyways, the reason I was bringing it up was we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 brand new songs come in this week, and a couple of others that I don't even fool with them because... You know, the word is now, you don't send them over in MP3s. I ain't pissing around with them. End of story. So, you know, and I wish you people would, and and, and you know, Coda, I'm not talking to you people especially, but uh, the, the artists, some of you artists yourselves, will you please put your name on the song titles? You know, I mean... Some of these things, you guys send these emails, and it has the writer's name, the artist's name, the singer's name, the drummer's name. You know, I don't know who's singing this song. I haven't even heard it yet. So could you, like, put, you know, this is Jerry Lee Willis, uh, My Guitar Broke a String, you know, or Benny Pitzinger, My Guitar Broke a String, and you guys don't play the same song either. Anyways, you get what I'm saying. I mean, seriously. I mean, I don't mind doing a little bit, but I, you know, I really don't know who's singing the song i got one today from this uh jamina arroyo 
and it comes up in the playlist as Twyla Foreman, who actually sings the song. But I didn't know that. So, you know, now it's wrong, and I don't like being wrong. And I don't like giving you wrong information either. So, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Anyways, you know, I, I don't mean to be... I'm not being rude, really, I'm not. But if somebody doesn't tell you, who's going to? No, I don't need coffee. I've, 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 had, I've had plenty of c- coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, that's the story. I'm just sticking to it. I'm so glad Benny's here, because I like to listen to music with Benny. I don't know how he feels about that, but I know Benny knows good music. I don't have anybody to share it with, because you don't want to hear that shit half the time. Benny probably doesn't either, but <laughs> I don't know that because I'm here and he's over there, so I can. Well, we pretend. have a lot of similar tastes in music, but at yeah, the same but I mean, time, I, I get in down deep inside the music. I, you know, yeah, I'm, you don't do you don't go as deep into it as I like I, to. I do, but no, you don't. If I hear it too much, like then it gets sort of starts. Well, that's my probably head. your MS or something. That's not that's not what I'm referring to, though. You know what I mean. My guitar gently weeps and breaks a string and weeps. Oh, sorry. I get it now. Ah, quack, 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 quack. Anyways, um, we also have a new tune from... Uh, I went over to this Italian bar, see? Hey, you know what I'm saying? I went over to this place and I found this tune. Benny! This, uh, yeah. What did Benny say? You never. What are you yelling at Benny for? And Marie says, where the heck is Benny? So I said, Benny. Oh, I'm, sometimes if you give him a shout, he, uh, you know, he'll come back in the chat room. Uh, Tammy just said what I said. He's right here somewhere. <laughs> Anywho, um, what was I saying before you guys rudely interrupted me? See, you guys are all just like Donna. You just talk when I'm talking. My dad does that. You can be sitting there on the phone and walk in the room and start talking. He doesn't care. My mom the same way. What is the matter with you people? I walk into the room and see somebody on the phone. I wait till they're done. I might tap my fingers on the desk. Might sit there and this tap is where my Randy foot. compares everybody in the chat room to his dad. I know, because everybody's like my dad. Oh. <laughs> now, what was I saying? I don't even know anymore. It doesn't matter. I'm not important. I get it. Exactly. <clears throat> now you're getting it. I'm slow but effective. <sighs> okay. So, anyways. What's going on? What are we doing for music? I got lots of new music, but I got lots of stuff I want to play. You guys must have requests. How can you come to a radio show without requests? What's the matter with you people? Well, make sure that you play some of this new music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get it. But what about the cool stuff, too? Like this one. This stuff is cool to me. I love this stuff. It's got feeling. It's got style. It's got grace. You know what I'm saying? No. (laughs) Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> uh, what would I do without a wife? She doesn't know the dress. Well, let me tell you. Hair is always a mess. If you catch a steel and she won't confess. There's no way, no way that you could come from my loins. Yankee and a Brit, Friday night. Howdy. And What's we, up? We have a surprise guest on the line. Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> I called in to say hey with y'all. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, this is Shaylin, I do believe. How are you doing over there? Yeah, What's you. going off? Oh, we're uh, we're getting ready to, to get moved out to Nashville in June. So we're excited about time. I thought you went there a month ago. <laughs> we actually went back in January, and I got way sick. I got uh, I got influenza A twice and pneumonia once. So, yeah, January and February, March were not real good months for me. <laughs> well, that doesn't do much for your singing career, does it? It does not. But I'm actually getting my voice back, and we've been we've been playing a little. So, well, uh, you're, so, yeah. you're, so you're singing swamp songs now, right? Because you sound like a frog? <laughs> I sound a little like a frog every now and then I croak, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people made a lot of money on swamp songs, you know. Look at Jim Stanford. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. We're doing all right. What oh, about yeah, you? You headed in the right direction with everything over there in Nashville? 
Oh, my hell. We're, we're sure trying, I'll tell you. Robert wants to say hi. Hey there. Hey, what's going on over there, mister? Hi, <laughs> I'm us. How you doing? Hey, are you still beating on the old Shaylin with your sticks? <laughs> oh, you betcha. Good, good, good. That's good to hear. <laughs> Give her a good whack hey. from us tonight. <laughs> Will do, most definitely. Good, good. You know good. I got to plug stuff with you guys, right? You got to what? I got to plug something with you guys, right? You know that? A flood song. I got to tell you about I got to tell you about something. Oh, go on. So, y'all know that I'm up for five nominations for the ISSA Awards, yeah? Yeah. Pretty dang cool, huh? Very, very, very cool. It's awesome. Yes. You did all that before you got the flu, right? (laughs) (laughs) We've been working on that for a while, yeah. (laughs) So, yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Female Vocalist of the Year, uh, Female Rising Star, Album of the Year, Single of the Year, and Songwriter of the Year. Awesome. How'd you manage all that at once? Y'all gonna come to the awards? <laughs> no. No, we wish we could. We wish we could see you there. We ain't got no way to go anywhere right at the moment. <laughs> Dude, we are cars broke down. <laughs> uh, it's uh, broke down, all right. It's gone until they decide to call us and say you can come get it. Oh, gee. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't even know it's what it's going to cost or what it's going to look like. Hey, Calvin. right now. Yes, Calvin is in the chat room. <laughs> Calvin Blanco. Yeah. Yeah, he gave us a truck to drive, but, you know, we just got to kind of sit tight till why, hell, I don't even know if it's going to be another week or another month yet. I ain't heard a word from him. I just trust the guy, so we dropped it off and left it there. We're waiting to see what happens. You know, we, when we when we went out to uh, Nashville in January, <laughs> we were in, um, yeah, I think, Kansas City, right, Albert? Somewhere around that area. And we, we had a claim. Um, I don't know where we at. Oh, we were in Kentucky. And our truck, our car just all of a sudden started, our SUV, I should say, all of a sudden started, like, gasping for air or something or gas. And, and we heard a clank. Well, and then it started running okay, and we never had another problem until we headed back from Nashville to Utah. And uh, <clears throat> this rattle and clank started getting louder. Well, now we come to find out yesterday that we can't drive it anymore until we can get it in the garage, which will be here soon. But the whole air conditioning compressor come apart. No, oh, no way. Tennessee, and we've been driving it ever since in Kentucky. Yeah. You Three can't. One hours out home, back, home, back here. And, yeah. Can you just take the belt off of it and drive it without the AC? Oh, no. This is the whole pulley system that went. Oh, geez. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's not good. It's we not like, put some money in it, man. We've been two or three years okay. in the Texas sunshine without air conditioning. We thought we was pretty tough. <laughs> oh my! It's killed us. It's half killed yeah. us. I have to admit. He's all the redneck, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't think redneck well, even covers funny. that. <laughs> It so, gets pretty nasty go out there and work in that sunshine all day and then get in a hot truck and ride along. You know what it's like trying to stay awake? Yeah. I wouldn't want to do it. So, you got fi- so you're up for five nominations for the ISSA Awards. When, uh, when, when is the event? Um, geez, you would ask me that because I can't remember. I think it's September. August or September. August or September. Don't quote me on that. I can't remember. Um... But yeah, up for that in Atlanta, Georgia, and then uh, uh, Artist of the Year is right in for the Josie Awards. So we're up for, uh, I suppose, Artist of the Year is what everybody's been writing in. So who's not the Josie Awards? <laughs> so folks out there, if you love Shaylin and you love the music and, uh, and you, oh, it's August the 23rd, Nisi Howard said in the chat room. Uh, yes, if you love Shaylin, then get in there and get your votes in. I think you can vote like once a day. Yeah, once a day on every device you can vote, and um, the voting ends, I believe, May 11th for ISA. Uh, Nisi, if you're still in the chat room, 
not sure the Josie Awards when that ends. And then I think I announces on the 14th uh, finalist on May 14th. So I'm going to go from there. Awesome. If you can correct my song. <laughs> Yeah. So what do you do now? For y'all. What do you do now? Go back to bed and drink some more NyQuil? Or do you have a shot of whiskey? Um, well, I'm having a, a, a Tennessee honey whiskey right now. Evan Williams. And, uh, and uh, I plan on having me a couple shots of Fireball right here shortly. <laughs> I thought she was taking yeah. Marge Simpson voice lessons. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Homer. it's kind of funny, I think. This, but I sing, you know, I don't know, since I've been sick, my voice has kind of changed um, a little bit to a, ra- a more raspier tone. So what are you going to be so, singing when you get all normal again? you going to be singing more Elvis songs or something, or more like Louis Armstrong? <laughs> you know, I'm writing a lot of my own. I, um, I'm hoping to get hoping to get with some, some major songwriters out there, uh, and I'm going to... Plug his name, Mark Roma. I hope you're listening. Uh, and a couple of other guys, friends of his. But, uh, you know, I talked about a plan with them that I want to write a 13-song album uh, called Broken. And I want the song to be, you know, along the storylines of, um, you know, of someone that's been broken. Uh, just like you all know, I uh, struggled the last month or so. I had my, my best girlfriend shoot and kill herself. Wow. And she was, we were filming Louise. And uh, my pink guitar means a lot to me. Nancy Howard, I know you're listening. That, that guitar goes out from my heart to whoever gets that pink guitar signed by me uh, in the auction for a show to record. So hopefully some little girl that has a dream in her heart and a spirit in her eye can, you know, get that guitar and move along. That's what we're doing. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, well, I hope it all works out for you. It doesn't sound to me like you should be talking as much as you are. You sound like you got worse since you picked up the phone. <laughs> I do. I, <clears throat> I start to get scratched a little bit after I talk. I'm not supposed to. Uh, I'm not to talk. I want to save my voice. That's just what. Well, I have to go with the book of says, but. Uh, but we're doing good. We're, I'm, I'm writing, playing. We're, you know, we went, we went to a place called the Royal last Tuesday. We're going again this Tuesday night. We'll do some videotaping again. But uh, you know, played a few songs, just a jam session. Didn't matter if you screwed up and your voice wasn't right on. <laughs> so, Very we good. With a bunch of friends on stage. And, yeah, fun stuff. Well, go get your breath healed oh, up there. We got one of your songs loaded up here. She's a cowgirl. Awesome. Thank you. Well, lay down and rest. Don't be tearing up that voice. You ain't going to win nothing like that. I'm getting my guitar out here in a while. Don't worry. I'll drink a little whiskey. <laughs> All right, then. Soldier on. You guys take care. That's yeah, right. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Take care. You're all over the road with Randy and Donna Bradley and quit tailgating. Yankee and Britain on Friday night. Joey Hagan. Joey! Joey Hagan, Outlaw Whiskey. What's going on, everybody? Nice to see you. Bye-bye, Shay. Bye. Go rest your voice. Bye. All that talking ain't doing you a bit of good, girl. <laughs> Why don't you people listen? She's going to go around singing songs like... <laughs> yes, good night and rest Can you hear her play. now doing Outlaw Girl? <laughs> outlaw Girl. <laughs> outlaw Girl. Be like Bud Weiser. <laughs> the Budweiser frogs. That's right. You remember them, huh? Yeah. I'll be damned. The Budweiser frogs made it to England. Now that is something. That is something to be proud of. Really, that's very cool stuff. Anyways, uh, got this gal here. I was talking about earlier. Um, actually, it's Jamina Arroyo that is singing, um, or Twyla singing it, and. Jamina wrote it. Jemania, Jemina. I'm not sure, quite sure on the pronunciation, of course. But, uh, but anyways, it says the artist is Twyla Foreman, so it's called Ashes. This is important. Uh, Donna Ray was talking on her 
Facebook page earlier about it's important. What's important is if you would say, excuse me, I have something to say. So we know who it is. (laughs) I was saying that. I didn't realize she said something like that, really. Yeah, Donna Ray, she posted up uh, showing people how to name their songs, you know, to go into the song on your computer. You mean to save the file? Yeah, go into the song on your computer, right click, and make sure that you put the artist's name followed by a hyphen followed by the name of the song. You so were that, paying attention when I said that earlier, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I don't care. I don't care if it has the hyphen in it or not. I save all my files with the artist by the artist's name, space, hyphen, space, title. Yeah, that's pretty okay. much how she suggested it. Yeah, um, yeah that's, uh, that's the easiest way to do it, really, to read it. But I don't care about that. What I want is, you know, and I capitalize each word. First name, last name, and each word of the song except words like if, and, or, but. I don't capitalize those, of course. I'm just finicky about it the way I want my files to look like. I don't care what I get as long as I get them in an MP3 and they have the artist's name and the song title on it. Yeah. You know, because I see a lot of people send them and they say MP3 on the end of them, too, or or other things, or featuring such and such an artist whose name stretches out another 15 or 20 letters and blah, blah, blah. Sometimes that's okay, and I'll cut that and put it in there. And sometimes I'll just get rid of all that garbage, and I'll put the artist's name and a song title in there, and that's it. But yes, please, uh, Don Ray, definitely. Thank you, girl, because that's very important. Uh, you know, and time-wise, too, it saves us a lot of time. We don't, you know, we've been down this road before. We don't always have the time through the week to, uh, you know, get all this stuff squared away. So sometimes I'm here an hour before the show, and I'm sitting there going, save save, 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 and no telling what we get. Sometimes I don't have to edit them. I don't have time to edit them, I mean. In effect, that means get rid of uh, any dead air before or after the song. Sometimes uh, whoever's producing them or the artist will finish their song, and they'll leave a whole, you know, one or two, sometimes three and four seconds worth of noise at the end of it. And you can hear chairs moving, microphones being bumped, or all kinds Sneezing. of things. <laughs> you know, and at the beginning of the song, you'll have one or two seconds, sometimes only one second, but that's a lot of dead air when you're when you're trying to, you know, go from song to song here in place. But that ain't a major smoothness. problem. What I think, you know, we we we. I'm just saying for you know this is this is how I am on my end is you know. When I run automation on here, like when we're when we have three or four or five songs in a row going, one song goes into the other. I have it set so they overlap only by point three or point four five seconds somewhere in there, because I don't want them to overlap each other too much. But with all that noise at the beginning, sometimes you go between songs and you can tell it's automated because there's dead air, and I don't like that. I like a nice tight show. But you check just every, like so- I like a every nice, song, tight wife. don't you? But at, at the, what one thing that we <laughs> I don't think she heard me. <laughs> One thing we have a problem with is sometimes people will send music and sometimes there's not a downloadable link. Um, like today, we got some music off a lassie and um, and it was in there was about ten or maybe more SoundCloud songs, and we didn't we didn't know which one she wanted us to play, and um, none of them had a download download link. So Randy had to literally open up his. Uh, open up his recorder thing and record the song and let it play which you know if you go to do that and you don't know which songs are ready for the radio ready to be played you know some of them could be just songs that you've been playing in your playing in your bedroom that you've not really recorded for anything in particular but you've just put them out there um so it's so sometimes we have to sit there and go through a pile of 10 15 songs on people's soundclads um to find nothing that's really radio worthy so you know it's important that you send us what you would like us to play send it as an mp3 name it the best you can name it right artist song name um we can work around most things but we do need mp3s it is important yeah and let me just say one more thing while we're on the subject while we're bitching (laughs) I was trying to be tactful about it because I suck at being tactful. But really, listen, listen, folks. Listen, Benny. Benny knows what I'm probably, he doesn't know yet what I'm going to say, but I bet he'll know what I'm talking about as soon as he hears me, is reverb, echo, Uh uh-uh, stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop using it. And if you're going to use it, 
Don't overuse it. Don't sound like you're in the friggin' uh, Sistine Chapel singing. Too much echo, too much reverb. I, and listen to me, folks. I love There's each and every one reverb, of you. I love you guys much. to death, and we love this music. And some of you can really sing great. Some of you are really good singers. Some of you aren't so good singers, but you are trying, and I hear the changes. But I want you to understand something. When you put too much of that reverb on there, you sound terrible. Seriously. And I, I think you say tell that them what with, you really think. I say that with all the kindness in my heart, and I want you to understand this. This is, you know, and some people just aren't going to tell you guys. They won't tell you. But I'm not afraid to tell you because it's no skin off my kahunas. I want to hear your. I want to hear your music. I I will play your song. I don't care how shitty it is or how beautiful it is. I will play your song for you if you send it to me. But I want you to listen to your song when I play it to you. I want you to listen as you know. You listen as if you're listening to your favorite country station that's right there in your hometown and your friends are listening to it. That's how you need to listen to it. And you, if you don't like what you hear, then, you know, if you want to ask me, I'll tell you. A lot of you won't like me when the conversation's over, but by God, you'll know, you know. And and there's other people you could probably ask, but I don't know if they'll tell you, but I'm just straight up and honest about it. I want you to succeed and I want you to sound good. So back off the reverb and back off the echo, record your song, then go add some of that stuff and just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Learn how to edit some of your words so you can have one word echo off a little bit, you know. Um, you can do that stuff. It's very easy to do whether you have audacity or what you use. You know, I'm no professional, no, but I know what I hear, and there's some lots of other producers and people like that that they can't do it, but they know what they hear, and that's you know that's how they got to be big time producers. They know. It's just you know, but you got to listen to yourself. You got to be honest with yourself. So I hope I hope nobody's offended. Nobody's got any hurt feelings, and or else you think I'm full of shit and I'm an idiot, and that's fine too. But reverb, echo, please, jeez, yes. Like Benny says, just a touch of reverb in the final mix, and combine it with a dry track. Perfect. You hardly even need any, you know. And some of you have that voice. You don't need anything like that. You harmonize so well with the instruments. You don't need that. You know, Donna and I are no professional singers by any means. Excuse me. So a little bit of <laughs> reverb is good for us. It gives us a little depth that we don't have, you know. And I've been over the top with it sometimes, not realizing it until the playbacks. And it's like, you know, and we're like, screw that. We've done it 50 times, you know, so we ain't doing it again. But <laughs> don't hate it, Ricky. Learn to love it. Don't hate it. Use yeah, it there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, uh, it's just when... There's too much. You know, there was uh, a couple of shows ago where we played about three songs maybe and, you know, all of them were, um, you know, they had loads and loads and loads of reverb in them. And one of them, you know, sounded like um, sounded like he was in a big, big, big church, but also sounded like he was sat in his bedroom. It was kind of mindful. Benny said he used a lot of reverb on the harmonica and the harpist. Yes, you did, but that's the effect it needed because it needed to sound eerie, you know, like not the lake either because I live there. I know what that like. stinks. Anyways. Yeah, but I do believe that there's, that a, was a, great that there's a time There's yes. a time and a place for it. Of course it. there is, and that was the place for it because look at the feeling you get from that song, you know. Yeah. I can feel myself standing in that chilly, cold alley over there where that guy's playing and the echoes between the buildings and stuff. That worked. And I don't know how you guys do it, and I don't know how the professionals do it, and I don't care how they do it. You know, I'm one of those, I do my shit my way, and it doesn't matter. But anyways, I always record, when Donna and I do something, we always record the vocals separate from the music, and then I add the two together. You know, because you can tweak them, you can move them around a little bit. Um, you might have missed something that you can cut out and just re-sing that part and just paste it back in. I mean, it's nothing like when I was in radio way back in the day when I started, and you had, you know, you were recording on the reel to reels, and you had to, you know, sit there and run it back and forth and find that little spot, and then mark it with a pencil, and then pull it off the reel, and 
cut it with a splicer and tape it back together, and you did that 900 freaking times so you got everything the way... Oh, my Jesus, criminy. Do you have a copy of that, Ricky? Let's hear it. I'd like to hear that. That's a great tune. But I, I don't know what you guys do, but that's, you know, I think you should have, like Benny said, the dry track. Do your vocals separate, do your music separate, then add the two. You know, and you can do it easily just by the way you rec- set your recording equipment up. You know, you're bored or however you're doing it. What's he laughing about? Crimson and Clever. What's the difference? Clover. <laughs> so is it Crimson and Clover or Crystal Blue Crimson Persuasion or both of them? I like them all. That's, uh, those are great tunes, really. Crystal blue persuasion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we got to play love shit for, uh, what's her name, too? Love shit. <laughs> love shack. That's the one. I can't even spell persuasion. Can you believe that? <laughs> Ricky says, no, I was just giving examples of lots of reverb. Oh, I, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. You use some when you were singing those songs. Drum first, then bass, guitars, other instruments, then all vocals. What's he saying? Are you keeping up with this guy? Love what? (laughs) (laughs) Shock! Tin roof! Rusted. That's my girl. (laughs) All right, we'll... uh, Just hang on a second. I'm getting this here. We'll... uh, We'll play Love Shack, I promise you that much anyways. But, uh, let me get this fixed up right here because I want it to be the best sound we can get out of it. There it is right there. Ya vous, das ist gut. Ja, ja. Doesn't this, isn't this button supposed to make your voice go funny? That what, one? this one? No, not that one there. Oh, this one. That one. Yeah, the one above. Yeah, it is. La, 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 la. What, do you want to do something stupid? Yeah. Um, uh-oh, How does it work? It? Oh, does it's it not, not work? that one, you ding nuts. Which one is it then? It's this one. That right one. Here. That button up there. Right. Well, go on then. What does it do? Bang, bang, bang on the door, baby. Go ahead. Rusted. Oh, <laughs> it sounds like I'm on helium over here. How much more helium can I take? Hello. <laughs> Just making a load of random noise now. Woo! Now, was that a bit too much reverb over there? Hello? Now then, I thought there was an effect on there that made you sound like you're on helium. Oh, now what's going on over here then? Who? <laughs> I'm on something. See, I, I haven't found anything that makes our voice sound good on air like I'd like to have. Go on. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock, we're gonna rock. Around the clock tonight. <laughs> buttons. I love buttons. Buttons. Woo. Hello. <laughs> See what happens when I leave her alone. Hey, Donna, how does your garden grow? How's your broom running? <laughs> Well, it's surrounded by, by it's, it's surrounded, surrounded by, by cockle, cockle shells. shells. Uh, uh, uh. It's, it's a very a personal question about how my garden grows. <laughs> Shay, <laughs> what's it done to my voice? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hey, you haven't heard your voice yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you sounded like Benny Pitzinger then. Do that again. Benny Pitzinger. Go on, do a, penny, do a Benny voice. Do a Benny voice. <laughs> I don't know. This doesn't sound like Benny. That one sounds like Benny. This one right here. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay. That's enough of that. You feel better now? Buttons. I love buttons. Knob. <laughs> love Shack, coming up next. I'm over now and all that truck driving shit right there. What's going on? Uh, now, here's a dude. I met this guy in a bar one night. He was singing over there, so I asked him if he'd come over and sing for us. So he come over here, and we cut this little 
track he did. So here he is. The dude's name is Tony Renetti. Uh, he's a fella I met in New York, and my brother lived over there. He was, you know, the name tells you all. It's all you need to know. His name is Tony Renetti. You know what I'm saying over there? So let's see what this guy's got to do. His song is called Ring Dang Do from Tony Renetti. I know what you're thinking. Did he play six songs or only five? Well, I'll tell you the truth, all this excitement. I'm kind of wondering myself. Being that this, the Yankee and the Brit show, the best internet show in all the world, and great independent music that would blow your head clean off. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you punk? Hey. I got to know. Oh. Yankee and the Brit, wow! That is a country tune right there, ain't it? How is you over there, wife? You doing all right? Yeah. Are you running down yet? Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> don't want you to get too tired over there. We well, still got, you got lots plans of music. For me later? Fuck no! What are you nuts? Ah. <laughs> I'm only delirious. We got lots of music to play yet. I don't want you to go to sleep on me yet. Still got some fun to have over here. I tell you what, I don't think there's too much you guys could say to me in a, in a you know in a conversation. Should we, would we, could we ever get together and sit down and shoot the crap? That I don't think of a song for it, you know? Because like Benny said, he cut down a holly tree today. And, uh, you know, first thing that hit my head was Holly Holy, Neil Diamond. And, I, you know, it's just, it's been like that, like, most of my life. Is somebody says something and I think of songs. And it's just, I don't know if it's bizarre or if I'm a weirdo, but... You know, it's hard for me to forget a lot of cool songs because every time somebody says something, I think of one. And what made me say that? I have no idea. And I'm working at the moment, so I'm trying to finish this up while I'm making conversation because my wife is not good at filling in the blanks for me, so <laughs> I'm doing it. Hey, it's nine o'clock. You know that last hour always... Uh, I know, you have a hard time with that, especially after the day we've had the last few days. We've really been working great and, you know, Thank you to God and everybody else that has uh, given us all this work. It's really nice. But it doesn't leave much time for play or the train. And Plus, it's been raining. Oh, my God, I hope it quits raining pretty soon. Well, I shouldn't say that because i got all kinds of these great little oak trees popped up in the yard. They all started on their own, and I want them to grow up nice and big and strong like, the, like that with big mustard. So we got lots of trees coming up over here, and the rain keeps them going. And I planted some Hosage trees. And my dad had told me, I don't know if you guys are gardeners or like to grow things or what. I'd love to have a garden, but I just don't have time. But uh, I planted some Hosage trees. There's, we got two lots here. So there's quite a bit of property, really. And uh, I wanted some trees over in the other. And the day's coming, they'll be gone. Hopefully we get the house and blah, blah, blah. You know. And I don't, I'm not trying to get rid of them. Don't get them. I'm just saying. You know, future. Got a plan for the future. And so I wanted some trees down there on the other part of the property. And Dad's got this really nice-looking Hosage tree in the front yard of their house. And it's been there. It's, how long have they been there now? Five years? Eleven years? How long have they been there? Let's just say eight years. Okay. I can never remember for some reason. <laughs> I know. But about eight years then. Okay. So, anyways, he said I just took one of the monkey balls or a boat arc. No, not a boat arc. Uh, I don't know. That's what he said. That's what... Anyways, I took a monkey ball. That's what we called them up north. And uh, Pop said he took one, cut it in half, and stuck it in the ground, and the tree grew. So I said, okay, I'll try it. So last fall, I... You know, Donna and I stopped and picked up a few along the road. They're right here. They're all over the place. I got some in the backyard. And I just took the shovel, and I stuck it in the ground. I pried the dirt back. I threw the ball in there, and I covered it up. And it all came up this year with, like... God, hundreds of little friggin' trees in there. So I've been out pulling them all out as they grow now, and I'm waiting for them to get bigger and bigger now. I'm down to about maybe 10 or 15 in some of them and one or two in some of the others. So I'm waiting to go thin them out and just let the big ones grow here in probably another month or two. But the rain is is making them grow, so I thought it was pretty cool. Anyways, I like to grow things, especially trees. I love trees. 
can't have enough trees. Anyways, we're talking about Holly Holy with Benny over here. Boy, I've been having a riot over here. Hey, anyways, uh, I, I, I made a mis- oh, I, 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 I made a mistake. I never make mistakes. If I remember right, I was only wrong once. Anyways, remember the song Ashes that we said was by, um, who did we say it was by? You remember what I'm talking about? Twyla or Twyla. Twyla. Yeah. How could we forget that name? It's that goofy chick from the post office. Twyla. Anyways, that wasn't Twyla. I didn't think it was. I thought it was It wasn't Twyla or Jemina Arroyo. It was Chris Harbach. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, I boo-booed. The way I got it written over here, I saw, I glanced at this and this, I was thinking it was I remember names. seeing the picture and thinking, I don't think he's got the name right. So who was that ass? Ricky or whoever it was? But anyways, um, it I was Chris it was Harbach. Yeah. That's what I thought. So I there, I fixed that. But anyways, here's a new Ooh. one we got this week, too. I have no idea what it sounds like. I haven't had a chance Excuse to listen me. to it. It's Ralph Pagano and this guitar. This is the Yankee and the Brit Show. Crank it up and embarrass the children. Ralph Pagano. Ralph Pagano, this guitar. Boy, I'll tell you what, I've really gotten into this uh, this new music thing, man. I get a kick out of listening to some of these new songs. And we heard them all for the first time on our show. Well, we do anyway. Sometimes we don't even get a chance to listen to them beforehand. I know. So. I didn't hear that one at all. But, man, I'm glad I did. That's pretty good. Yeah. I like it. But anyway, I have a little story to tell. <laughs> we, uh, Randy was installing a sign this week. Wait a minute. Uh, this involves me? Yeah. Randy was in installing this Ruh-roh. sign this week, and the lady, the lady that asked for the sign, she uh, this can't be she always asks for uh, a, a, her, her photographer, the guy with the drone. He always gets the guy with the drone. She to, makes uh, videos of the property she's selling. Yeah, yeah, and it sort of supports her listing. Well, anyway, she um, she she shows us where she wants the sign, and uh, we drive right round to the other side of the property so we could install the first sign. And uh, the guy gets set up with his drone, and uh, I'm on this medication where I need to pee constantly. I really, really need to pee. <laughs> now, now I know where we're all going. the time. You know, my bladder empties, and it's already filling up for the next one. So, uh, <laughs> so I, uh, I was like saying to Randy, "Oh, I wish he would hurry up talking to this woman because I really, really, I'm going to need to pee, and we are right in the middle of." Nowhere here. There's nothing anywhere near. So anyway, yeah. Uh, very beautiful place. Yeah, very beautiful place. And we goes we goes over, and Randy starts digging his holes. And I said, Randy, I'm gonna have to pee. So I hides behind the truck door. He opens the truck door. There was no traffic coming, so I thought I've got I've got a little bit of time to have my little private pee. And uh, and then I starts hearing this noise above my head. Zzzz. <laughs> And it was the drone. I could not believe I was pissing while there was a drone above my head. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, the operator and, and the realtor are about three quarters of a mile away or so around a curve, so they can't see us, you know. Now, they could see by watching the drone where it's flying. Yeah, so then... You know, but I don't know what they could see, but Donna made sure she told them when they Yeah, come back. then I, I had to tell the lady, <laughs> I had to tell the realtor that's paying us to put the sign up, I said... Uh, you're going to have to check your footage before you put the video out there because you might see a big fat horse <laughs> in, in your camera. And the camera guy, just he could not stop laughing, you know. He was he found it hilarious. And I'm like saying, I'm like saying, you know, you will do the decent thing by me, won't you, and delete any footage of me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was dead embarrassing, you know. And I didn't want to tell her. I really did not want to tell her. Um, I told you the know, drone that my operator. My big fat horse might be on. <laughs> video, I told the but drone. I had, to, I had to tell her. I told the drone operator when he was walking away. I said, "When you edit that video, watch for the full moon." <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! It was just really, really embarrassing. And of course, with of course with the um, <laughs> with the uh, with the medication I'm on, there's no such thing as a small piss. You know, it was like an Austin Powers piss. It went on for about two minutes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so he will have caught my ass on that camera. Oh, my gosh. Oh How embarrassing. God, I forgot about that. Was there I was peeing in Randy's empty McDonald's cup. <laughs> Full boon. 
<laughs> well, Ricky, on the MP3s, dude, uh, not, you know, I'm not the only one. Uh, obviously, uh, Donna Ray was talking about that today, too, somewhere along the lines, which I didn't know that. I've been wanting to say something about it for weeks, and I'm trying not to, to voice my opinion too much about things. I, Very shallow, David. I don't have the right, really, to, to say anything, because we're a radio show. We play everybody's music, but I feel some of the things I say is geared toward everybody anyways. You know, I'm not aiming it at one particular person, so... I don't feel too bad about it. And then sometimes it just gets on my nerves enough that eventually it's like uh, shagadelic. I got to say something. Very shagadelic, baby. If I don't say something, I'll friggin' explode because I am really prone to not keeping my mouth shut about certain things. But, you know, I know it's extra work for you guys to make sure your spelling's correct and, you know... But I think they've got to put, they've got to do the well, legwork. they don't work. put their name on it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I mean, if you don't put your damn name on it, then, you know, how's anybody going to know who's singing the song? I mean, it's pretty just, it's just common sense. You know, but I, there's so many of them that come through here that, uh, you know, I don't know what these people are thinking. What do you, well, you should have seen my name in the email. Well, sure, I saw 50 names in the email. And someone, someone last week sent a, uh, sent a link um, to their YouTube and we don't, we very often don't mind the YouTube links because we can download from YouTube. However, all these videos were some of the were some of the videos from the Facebook Live. It was just like a Facebook Live video, and there was coughing and choking and um, all sorts of stuff in the video. And I just deleted the email because you know, if you, I I know that not everybody can afford to put together a radio recorded song, but if you're going to put something out there that's um, that's acoustic, you know, just have some self-awareness of what's going on around you you know if you're coughing and stuff cut it out or whatever because if we're playing it without listening to it first not only that kids in the background dogs barking should yeah, we go on dogs barking the tv was on in the background on one of the videos and i'm just like thinking to myself you know you want to you want me to sift through all these videos and find one decent one that, would, that is radio playable and i'm not just being picky here you know you guys you guys know yourself when you're listening to songs if it's badly recorded or really well recorded. Most most do. Or <laughs> not all of them. <laughs> but yeah, and I, and I know, like you know, I know that not everybody is in a position to record anything professionally, and neither are we. So we just do our best with what we got. But you know, we try and make sure that your TV, you haven't got background noise, your dog's not barking. You know. Kick the dog into next door's garden. And please or don't anybody ever think that our heads are too big. That's <laughs> no, not the case not. at no. all. We don't think we're Jesus or God or any of his disciples, none of that stuff. But I am not chasing down your friggin' songs for you, you know. You send me an MP3, I download it, I clean it up for my show, and I'm more than happy to play it. And I'll play, and I know I said this earlier too, I will play anybody's song. I don't care how bad it sucks. We play some of our stuff, and it's friggin' horrendous. We're here for fun, and we're here to give you a platform, you know. And I am, you have no idea how cool I think it is that all you artists, no matter who you are or what you think you are to anybody else, you guys come in here and you talk amongst yourselves. You have a place to talk about the trade. You have a place to share ideas. We get to jam tunes together. You guys tell me what you like. I tell you what I like, blah, blah, blah. It's great. You know, but you gotta you you gotta sell yourself. If you can't sell yourself, nobody else can do it because nobody knows you like you know yourself. You know, Donna and I know we can't sing. We'd never be able to cut a good record and make money or do any of that thing. We don't care. That's not our forte. We don't do that. But I want to help you guys do it. You know, and we offer this, and it's not much, granted, but every little piece, you know, it's like a picture puzzle. You put all the pieces together, and eventually you'll have the whole picture. You know, radio stations will tell you if they report for royalties. No, they don't. A lot of them don't tell you that, and a lot of them don't report for royalties either. And let's see, uh, what else does she say here? Shade Lynn says, hey, y'all, just a little word of advice to songwriters. If you're with BMI or ASCAP and a distributor, get your numbers, send with your MP3s, your ISWC and ISRC numbers, and send along. This gets you paid royalties for your songs through distributors and BMI. My distributor is DistroKid. Uh, this distributes to Amazon, working in songwriters' favor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, a lot of the music we get through has all that stuff tagged in it. We do see a lot of that. I don't think too many people are missing that stuff. 
unless it's somebody, you know, recorded a song at home on their telephone or something. And I don't care about that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I see a lot of those numbers and people filling out a lot of the information, but <laughs> again, they forget their names. That's the thing, you know. They got all the important stuff except their name, and that's probably the most important. <coughs> Benny says, I always have a one-second delay at the beginning. Should I chop that up for radio submissions? I can't tell you. I can't tell you what other people do. I really don't know. I don't think it's bad one second. No, it's not. But I, you know, if you if you send it, I like it tight. I like everything tight. We don't want to know about your sex life, My do wife you? even knows that. So <laughs> I have a, a mistress. Oh! <laughs> I'm only delirious. Anyways, I don't know, Benny. Are you just, you know, just send what you send. If you haven't any complaints, don't worry about it. And I'm not really complaining because you don't send that kind of stuff. I know better than that. You're not one of the issues. You know, you're far from it. But I clean all my stuff up right up to it. And the endings, I've noticed, I've got some of them a little too tight. I've got to start leaving a little extra on them. Because I, because I noticed when I'm flying on autopilot that... Uh, that they overlap too much. It's, yeah, well, it's cutting off that little tiny bit. I got a promo from Benny that his last word fades off and then just drops off like that. And it's not supposed to. You're supposed to hear the whole word. So, you know, i got to watch that. <laughs> that's exactly my point, baby. Ben. <laughs> no, that's not a frigidator. That's my fan because it's about 9,000 degrees in here. And if I turn the AC on, it's even louder. All right, Shay, I say again, bye-bye. <laughs> good night, Shay. Be safe and good luck, man, with the uh, ISA stuff. I'll tell you what, as well, last week I was... Uh, I was... I, <laughs> I was just... I'm sorry. Well, but I just... I just happened to catch the sound of the fan and it does sound like an old refrigerator running like ours does at night when we listen it does, to it all it's, like a night long. It, it sounds like my it sounds like my vibrator you know tried, when i've got it on the kit when i use the kickstart i have tried so hard to stop that fan from rattling and there is nothing i can do to it it's just it will it's yeah. plastic that's the first problem you've got to raise it off the table i suppose I, I, yeah but still it uh see even yeah, better. listen remember the noise it was making the other yeah. day through the microphone <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Can't get away from it. It's a Yankee and a Brit noise show. Go and I tell then. you what, some somebody's song that we played last week had uh, had like two Facebook pings. Oh, Ricky is so funny, Hardy, har ha. Oh, yeah, I'm talking. I said somebody's song last week they had two Facebook pings, and you guys should all go and listen to your songs now and listen out for Facebook pings. But the uh, Facebook Messenger ping, I you heard it back. And I know it wasn't coming off our show because, um, you know, I don't even have mine loud during the show. Was that Peter James' new song? Peter James, we did today, yes, we right? do have a song. Okay, what the hell was it called? Do I you remember? can tell you right now because I'm really cool at this song. Oh, wait a minute, stuff. here it is. Uh, no. Ooh. Never Had a Moment, is that it? It is called Never Had a Moment. Okay, I'm going to put it in the list here. Um, something made me think of that Something we were just talking about And I forgot Mr. Sandman Dream me a dream oh, I had a bit me of, I had a bit, and let me rectum get reamed what? I had a bit of background noise just then <laughs> Oh dear me it And said, it smells It said cabbage, I'm telling you <laughs> I love cabbage, I, I obsess over cabbage I like cabbage too I'd like about another five or six grand in a bank Oh, I just love it. And I love wah, crunching it wah, raw, too. Wah, wah. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, Ricky, you're very funny. Hardy, hard, hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So, anyways, I should play that song. I love music. Any kind of music. <laughs> hey, look out for drones, Ricky said. It's not the first time that my ass has been out in public. I was... Uh, Face down in the mud once. <laughs> oh, but that wasn't my ass out in public, though. Hey, is Brenda that still hurt? Did she fall asleep, by the way? But ages ago, and I'm talking years ago, years ago, my ex partner threw out his cigarette nub, and it came and it went out of the window in the car, and then it came back in the window in my side, and um, oh my gosh, the the bloody fag nub ended up going in the top of my trousers. I just wondered, hon. 
down my down my trousers down the back of my trousers and right in between my butt crack so there i am I so that's why they always said you was one smoking hot bitch yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i like slams the brakes on in the car and i get out the car and it's like country road so you could only really have like one at a time cars going down there so there i am i get out the car and uh and uh, the uh, I pulls my trousers down, and I'm trying to get this cigarette nub. And by that point, it's already wriggled into my uh, undies. So I pulls my knickers down too, and uh, <laughs> all these cars had to stop just to see me get this cigarette nub out of my <laughs> out of my behind. <laughs> Nothing like having a fag up your there ass. There I am. I've got I've got everything out in public, and all these cars are like lining up behind me. I can hear them all now out there. <laughs> <laughs> and some cars did manage to get behind me, but get round me, but they had a good look. Oh, oh my gosh, God. how embarrassing! And I was giggling all the way home. I just could not stop giggling. I'm surprised it wasn't on Facebook. I can't imagine how many people have had the problem with cigarette butts trying to flick them out the yeah, window. Yeah, you had the same problem too. Didn't yeah, you? remember I told you when I was trucking. Barb yeah. went with me in the truck. We were coming through Youngstown one time, and. Uh, I flicked a cigarette out the window of the cab, and uh, some bitch didn't go out the window. I didn't know it came back in, but it flew back into the bunk. And how it did that, I don't know, because it was, uh, if you saw how the bunk was fastened to the truck, it had a what they call a coffin on it. You had to crawl through the hole where the window yeah. used to be. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's what they call cigarettes in, in Britain is fags. It is, it is. So she had a fag up her ass. And... Uh, Anyways, I flicked the butt out and went back into the bunk, and here we are, you know, all of a sudden we smell smoke, and we look, and there's flames in the bunk. I had to pull over along the road. We open the side door to the bunk, and we throw the mattress out on the road, and uh, my girlfriend at the time and I are standing out there along the highway, <laughs> jumping up and down on this mattress, trying to put the fire out. <laughs> what a couple idiots, I swear. <laughs> so I never flicked the butt out the window again, and to this day I do not do it. I always put it in the ashtray and put it out, regardless. So I'm not one of those people that litters the highway with fag butts not gonna happen and i've had i've i've had it, 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 i was a bridesmaid when i was about seven years old and uh, just before the wedding i was swinging around this pole i was bored and i was swinging around she this was pole, swinging and i fell down the drain and i got all the gunk from the drain hole Ugh. all up my nice little pretty white shoes and my pretty white socks and halfway up the dress um I didn't really like the dress anyway, so the dress deserved it. To, it's in like all when honesty. we used to wear bell bottoms and they'd get wet clear up to your friggin' knees just yeah. by walking in the rain. But I had all this black gunky stuff all up my legs, so I, so, so I went like the wedding photos with no shoes and socks on. <laughs> <laughs> friggin' hillbilly Brit. <laughs> and I fell out the truck. <coughs> Randy likes to tell everybody how I fell out the truck a few months ago. Oh, it was beautiful. If anyone's gonna, if anyone's gonna uh, do it, it's me. Now when we go out in the field somewhere to put a sign up or something, I pull up in the weeds or the grass, I say, did I stop next to the mud hole for you? Yeah! <laughs> Little bugger. Oh, jeez. And I fell it and I fell. I've I know, we all had bell bottoms. You'd wear them. You'd go to school, man. You'd, you'd see, like, uh, I don't know, like Chewbacca walk down the halls or something. You'd, all these big wet marks where all the bell bottoms would drag yeah, on the floor. Yeah, but I had some like that as well at school. And I've got, and I used to wear these uh, jeans, a pair of jeans that uh, were way too long jean, for jean, me. Jean, Jean, the dancing machine. The, the jeans were way too long for me. And, uh, you know, whenever I was out, they'd get soaked and I tell you what I was still adamant I was keeping those jeans you know those little uh, things you like them guys said uh, like Brenda said glad I wasn't the only one to catch that one I say that kind of stuff while you're talking and I hope you just keep talking so you don't hear me and it's for them to hear not for you why well, do I do, I I do, do it do. a lot I don't know if anybody else catches a lot of the stuff I say but I say a lot of shit on, while you're talking over there. oh I do I hear yeah, you I know you do mm. But uh, and you guys heard that uh, the dude that played Chewbacca shit to bed, right? He's dead, gone. Another one. Of course, now he'll be famous because he's dead. Before that, though, you know, you never heard a word about him. It's funny you never hear anything about anybody until they die, and then all of a sudden they're great. They were a great person. They were wonderful. I loved them. Didn't talk to them for the last fifty years, but they died. I loved them. They were a great person. I don't know, nobody hears how they were possibly uh, struggling in a uh, old person's home or uh, or how well maybe, they were or maybe it doesn't even matter. a mental facility. Uh, nobody talks about anybody or, while they're alive. Yeah, nobody ever mentions anything about them until they snuff it. 
I'll be, I'll be famous. I will when I snuff it. But not yet. Not yet. Not no. yet. And friending me on Facebook. You know, if you friend me and I know you, first thing I'm going to do when you friend me is I'm going to say, Hi, how are you? If you do not answer me in about two days' time, you are unfollowed and you are blocked, and I will never want to hear from you again because, and Donna and I have said this a million times on this show. I am sick and friggin' tired of people friending me and not saying one iota of a word. Not even hello, um, how the fuck are you, where the hell you been, what's going on, why are you alive, nothing. You get nothing, and I'm not doing it anymore. I'm how not did we go from talking about shit. silly and bothersome stories to moaning the again? The same way I did it how many years ago that you caught your ear and you decided yeah, you were in love well, with me? quit then, moaning, so I'm trying up. to stay happy tonight, and it's really tough. How's so that working for you? you? better stay happy. Well, no get, moaning, put fun another, times Put another only. fag up your ass. <laughs> I got your fag up my ass. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we better go over here and play some tunes because that's what we're here for. I but I spoken, love talking no sometimes. I don't get to talk very often through the week because you're always telling me, shut up, I'm working. I do not. So now's my chance to talk. This is my show Friday night. I'm Stop talking. moaning. No, <laughs> I won't. Yankee and the Brit Friday night. You're listening to the Yankee and the Brit on the RTM radio network. Don't, don't make, make me, me say, say it again. again. Well, who? Well, that's it, kids. We're done. Thank you, everybody. Love you. Say goodnight, Donna. Hi, Donna. I was close. The stinky and the poopy, delirious and goofy. They're all together, Pookie, the Yankee and the Brit. The show is a disaster when random man's a bastard. They really are haphazard, the Yankee and the Brit. Stinky feet. Sweaty meat. A badge that's neat. So Donna's got no pants on. A whip, a chicken collar on. She'd love to have a hold on. The Yankee and the Brit. So join us when the show's on. And Donna has a strap on. Cause Randy's got a rant on. The Yankee and the Brit. Stinky feet. Or sweaty meat. A badge that's neat. Well, we hope you'll come by tomorrow night, hang out with us for a little bit, bring some song ideas, and uh, see what we can get up to. Because it'll be a country Saturday night with the Yankee and the Brit. Other than that, we are gone. Thank you very much. Love you guys. You're the best. Love hanging out with you. Like all the stories. Like all the information. Thank you. Spread the word. We are here for you. Good night. Good night, love. Good night. Pip, pip, cheerio and all that crutch, right?